I'm Laura Harris-Smith. Welcome to today's Daily Pin Code. If you didn't see yesterday's Pin Code, please go back and watch it because I want you to hear our news. The Pin Codes may be headed for television. Now, it's nothing national yet. It's actually just a local cable channel, but you know what? You never know. It might lead to something else, and I've been in TV for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. I like the big, but hey, you got to start somewhere. So right now, uh, we're looking at it's a secular station through Charter Communications, um, and it's two weeknight shows, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, uh, 10.30 p.m., that's Central Standard Time. It's not competing with anybody's favorite shows, and the news is off, and people are flipping through channels, watching TV with their thumbs. So, um, you know, I'm excited at the possibility, but it's not something that my husband and I need to do alone, uh, financially. And, you know, the cost is in the low hundreds every month, and that is exceptional. The viewership is about 14,000 homes, and you know what? It is a place to start. So what I wanted to talk to you about today um, is the shows themselves. <sighs> because my goal is not to be on Christian television. God bless Christian television because of the work that they are doing in the earth. Um, my goal would be, I'd be happy with Christian television, but I'm happier if I can reach those people who would never step foot in a church, who don't really understand God's love. They need it. They need it bad. And I want to get it to them. I want to be, you know, that face, that relevant voice, um, and in doing that, I want to ask you for your opinions and want to get you praying about the direction that the pin codes need to go in so that we might reach everyone. This database used to be just for one church. This was six years ago, and it was called the Prophetic Intelligence Network. Isn't that interesting? Because uh, the war was fresh. It was 2003. Intelligence, the word intelligence was on the news every night, you know, the CIA and whatever, and we thought, you know, this would be a great way to get information to our church members. So we created the uh, Prophetic Intelligence Network. And then when it moved from that church, opened up, you know, globally and included email addresses from all over the planet, then we became the Prophetic Intercession Network. And intercession is a word that uh, is used to mean prayer. It actually has nothing to do with prayer. Uh, the word intercede in Webster's Dictionary means to go between two parties and bring them together. It's like what a lawyer does, an advocate. So it's what Jesus does, but it's also what a prayer warrior does. And that term is so often used to mean prayer, but to the world, and remember, we'd be on a secular station. They have no idea what that means. You may be a Christian and be going, I didn't know what intercession meant. So that's my point exactly. So if we take another bump up, we've gone to, you know, videos this year. If we're going to be doing these V-casts on the air, pray with me about if the PIN code needs to go through another acronym change. Today I sat down prayerfully and I looked over several <laughs> words thinking, you know, if we change the acronym PIN, Prophetic Intercession Network, that is where we get the word PIN for PIN codes, right? Well, so if we change it, the P, we're taking away the prophetic uh, part of this network. No, we don't prophesy every day. No, I don't look into the camera and go, I predict, yada, yada, yada. But, according to 1 Corinthians 14, 3, he who prophesies speaks to men for their exhortation, edification, and encouragement. And we do do one of those three every single day. Also, I consider what I bring to you to be prophetic in nature. And I say, Lord, tell me what to do today's pin code on. So in a sense, by the time you get it, it is a prophetic word, whether we say the word prophecy or not. It's a now word. Okay. So I don't want to take the word prophecy out of the, you know, I don't want P to be anything else unless you have a better suggestion. If you are going to become a pinhead and you are going to help us monthly in funding this dream, uh, then I want to give you a vote. I want to hear what you have to say about what the I should stand for. And we have some ideas, okay? The prophetic interdenominational network, because after all, that is what we have become. I hear from so many people now, thanks to Facebook, who has 
blown open the doors on the PIN code database. It used to be in the hundreds and now it's in the thousands. Um, and you know what? So there are people, I hear from those of you who are Baptists and Catholics and Methodists and Lutherans and non-denominationals and Charismatics and Pentecostals and Church of Christ, Presbyterian, and it blesses me that this has become a, an interdenominational network. Okay, other ideas. Um, inspiration, impact, okay, the prophetic impact network. Um, the prophetic instruction network. Introduction, impressions, influence, input, interaction, international. So I want you to think about those. Oh, and I have a few funny ones for you. Okay, icky, iced tea, idiots, idolatry, incognito, indigestion, inflation, and Illuminati. Okay, I just thought I'd throw those in there for fun. Uh, but the serious ones that we're looking at are interdenominational, international, and probably inspiration or impact. But guys, I really, I, I don't want to be religious about this. I don't want to sound religious and the word prophecy scares enough people off as it is. I really want to make this user friendly. So, if you want to be a pinhead, please contact me at laura at lauraharrismith.com. Let me know. Say, I want to be a part of doing this and I can commit this much amount to this ministry monthly. That would be awesome. And um, you will be thanked in the credits at the end of the program. You know, pin codes are made possible by. You'll we'll see your name at the end of the program. Um, because we're going to need sponsors. It's going to be great. So if you want to do that, and if you have a suggestion for our name and how we can maybe make ourselves a little bit more seeker friendly, I am all ears, right? I always have been. I'm all ears. Okay, I'm Laura Harris-Smith. I hope that you'll remember 1 Corinthians 14, 31, and 39. It says you can all prophesy in turn so that all may be instructed and encouraged. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy.